This is Ben with bkashaaudio.com, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the hydrogen drum machine to sync transports with the Ardor Digital Audio Workstation. This will allow you to press play in Ardor, and it will immediately begin playback in hydrogen. One reason that you may want to do this is that the MIDI sequencing in Ardor isn't as robust as it is in hydrogen, especially for drums. So using hydrogen is an overall better workflow for your drum sequencing. To get started, we'll open up Ardor and we'll open our session. Now in order for you to hear what I'm doing, I have to route the output of Ardor through our screen capture software, which it looks like this was already set up, so I don't have to do this. Now, I'll navigate to the mixer, make sure the volume is low enough so we aren't clipping. All right. The first step is we want to click this button that says INT for internal. We'll click it once, it'll turn green and say jack. That means it's using the jack audio system to sync transports. Next, we'll open hydrogen and we'll load a session. I have a simple sequence here. And in the transport section of hydrogen, you want to click J transport, which will enab enable the jack transport for hydrogen. Again, so you can hear this, we want to make sure that it's properly routed. So we'll route this to our screen capture software. And you should now be able to hear it. One final thing I'll do is we'll make sure that we're not clipping in the mixer. So now if I play back from Ardor, So it's syncing the transports of Ardor and Hydrogen. You may notice that it's dropping the first beat sometimes. This sounds like a bug to me, and one way I found around it is to click J Master to set it as the master. So Hydrogen is now the master for Ardor, and when you do that, the problem doesn't occur any longer. Now some important things to note about this setup. When you play back from Hydrogen or Ardor, it will play back from the beginning. However, if you move the transport head, the play head, forward in the session and play back, it won't move the transport play head in Hydrogen and vice versa. So if you want to go to a specific part of the song, you're going to run into some trouble. In that case, your best bet is to loop that section of the song and set hydrogen from song mode to pattern mode and just loop the pattern that you want to work on. So for instance, if I want to work on this section and I set it to loop, we just want to make sure that we select the appropriate drum pattern for underneath that section in hydrogen. So we've got the transports of Ardor and Hydrogen synced, and let's pretend that we've sequenced an entire song, and now we want to take that song, and we actually just want to print it to an audio track in Ardor so that we can do our mastering and mix everything together. The best way to do that is to right-click anywhere in this area, and we'll select Audio Tracks, and we'll make sure that our configuration is set to Stereo. So, so we've added, we've added an audio track. track. You can, you can hear my mic, mic is doubled. Is doubled. That's, because That's because by default, default it's routed, it's routed to, the to the track. So we'll click inputs. And we will disable that. And we now have to route the output of hydrogen into this audio track for recording. You can click on other. And we see hydrogen in the routing panel. We'll route left to left, right to right. And we'll record enable. Now, 
if we record in hydrogen. So now we have our drum track recorded into Ardor. If I disable jack, so hydrogen no longer sinks, and in fact I can just close down hydrogen because we don't need it, and play back in Ardor, you'll hear the track is printed. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, don't forget to like and subscribe, and visit bkashaaudio.com for more tutorials.